and welcome to another episode of Checkout Basket. Today we are checking out a limited edition food truck variety of Pringles. That's right, Pringles have released a couple of different flavours and this one is food truck limited edition sweet spicy barbecue flavoured. That's right, that's what the box looks like. And these are what the Pringles look like. So, most flavours on the concave side of these chips, you would say, yes. Um, well, now I've got some out, I'm going to give some of these to my offsider, who sits off camera, who's going to help you and me figure out, should we be going to uh, food trucks and doing some taste tests, or should we just stick with these Pringles? That's right. It's taste test time. So in front of you, you have uh, some of these limited edition, food truck inspired, sweet and spicy barbecue flavored Pringles. Do we do, have we done Pringles before? Uh, no, this is probably the first Pringle that we've actually this, ever done. This is the first one I can remember. On camera, we've had lots of Pringles in the past, but just oh, reviewing them. Um, yeah, I think this is the first. Yeah. Uh, also, they've got a tick on the back of this saying it is vegetarian. Whatever that means. I don't, <laughs> I don't mind that as long as they taste alright. Alright. Now, are they hot or. It has a picture of a chilli on the front, but. Not really. It says either. sweet and spicy, so it could be anything. It could be a sweet chilli that was on there. Alright, here we go. Smokiness on there. Barbecue, yes. A little bit of heat. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it takes a while. A little bit of heat. A little bit. I don't taste the sweetness. Yeah. It's a sweet heat. It is too. Alright. Hmm. Now they say they're barbecue, don't they? Barbecue yeah. what? Barbecue beef? Barbecue chicken? Sweet and spicy barbecue flavour. And they're vegetarian. Vegetarian. Um, this tastes alright. It's got it's got a bit of heat to it compared to a normal Pringle. Um, yeah. Are they worth it though? Should yeah, we be should, they... should we be going to a a a, a a food truck and getting our sweet spicy barbecue from them or should well, we getting these? Food trucks seem to be the, the, the end thing especially in America. They are also around here in Cranbourne too. Oh, um, we actually have a food truck park that opens up on Thursdays and Friday nights on the, the South Gippsland Highway on the main street in, or high street whichever you want to call I it. Didn't know that. In Cranbourne in front of the post the uh, the post centre you know the big parcel yeah. post centre yeah it's just in front of that in the car park. Oh, I'll have to visit it. Yeah. Well. Are these good? Tell me, are they a smaller Pringle than they used to be? I was going to ask you if you noticed if they did. It looks, they look smaller. They look smaller, but I don't know if it's just me, but they do look a little bit smaller. Mm. Mm. They're nice and crispy. They are. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm, I'm jaded a little bit. Because I've seen a lot of write-ups about Pringles. Let's not go into those. No, I don't want to go into it. If people want to find out about it, they should... Don't tell them what to Google either, please. They should search it out themselves. <laughs> Alright, on its merits, on what it is, what's the score you're going to give it? I'm giving it a good four. A four? Yeah, look. It's... Okay. I, can, I, I can taste... I can, I can taste the spice. Yeah. I can taste the smoke. I can't taste too much sweet. Tell you what I do taste coming through that. Sort of a flowery, like a flowery. Flower, flowery, not flower. Not floral flower, flower but floral as in flower. like potato flower. Because yeah, um, totally these flower. chips are actually, I think they're, they're made from potato, potato flower. From what I understand. The same stuff that, you know, you make up your dead potato out of that's not quite Because it's a long time up. since I've had a prickle. Uh, Alright, so you've given it a four. 
I'm giving it a three and a half. It's there, but it's not quite there. It looks all, these Pringles do look a little bit smaller and I can't taste too much sweetness coming through. And the first word on this packet is sweet and spicy. I can barbecue. So I can tell this, I can taste the other half. I just can't taste the first bit. So I'm giving it a three and a half. You've given it a four. That's a seven and a half out of 10. Just remember, if you've seen anything you like in these videos, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave comments, questions, or maybe other varieties of Pringles you want us to try. Leave it in the comments field below. There are quite a few different varieties in America. Maybe we should go and try and get some of those. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and get notified when we do these. Check out past episodes of my daily vlogs, Urban Explorer, Cooking with Craig, Car Maintenance, you name it, I film it, it ends up on YouTube. So, hit that subscribe button and get notified. And until next time. See you in the next video. I saw somebody in America, yeah. and you know how those event calendars you can get for Christmas? Yeah. They had an event calendar with little little packets, little packets of Pringles. <laughs> so they were like the, the canisters, but they were really short little ones. So you would open it up, and you'd get a little packet of Pringles. Uh -huh. Lots of different varieties. Things I do. Yeah, in America. Mm -hmm. Not here in Australia. But we need the, to get some of them. Yeah, a lot of the time we're not very adventurous, are we? It's not so much we're not adventurous, it's the companies the aren't. food companies aren't adventurous because they're not going to try something different. And have to send it halfway around the world to us. Yeah. Although, is this made in China? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> not Wuhan, is it? Uh, no, it's made in. Made in Malaysia. I want, a, I want a mask with it. Oh, no, no. It's not Made in Malaysia for this part of the world because they've got New Zealand in it uh, and New South Wales as their offices. Uh, Distributed by Kellogg's Australia, Proprietary Limited. Uh, 11 Falcon Street. Uh, New Zealand. 